Hello everyone. Hi, my name is Addie. Thank you for joining me today. So today I wanted to do something a little different and I wanted to talk about all the things that I've been loving in the month of March. So basically I'm doing like a March favorites. Currently, the majority of my video is fragrance related, but I have so many different life experiences and things that I've been through that I just feel like I wanna to talk to you guys more than just about fragrance, okay? So the first thing that I wanted to talk about was my journey with Ozempic. So I have been on Ozempic since September of 2022. And the reason why I'm on Ozempic is because I have prediabetes. So my daughter, she's three years old, and my baby boy, he's not a baby anymore, but he's two years old. And so those two pregnancies, I had gestational diabetes, which is basically diabetes while you're pregnant, okay? Sometimes it goes away after pregnancy and sometimes it just sticks with you, okay? So for the last baby, I did develop like a pre-diabetes, okay? So my family on my dad's side has diabetes, like bad, okay? So um, after having the baby, it just didn't go away and I developed high blood pressure and also pre-diabetes. So I was on a different medication, didn't really like that. And so my doctor talked to me about Ozempic and this medication. Well, if you guys wanna know more, I don't wanna make this a whole video about Ozempic, but I just wanted to let you know that my health has improved tremendously and I have lost 23 pounds since um, taking this. And so all of my weight was right there in my stomach and it was like underneath the muscle, so it's called visceral fat. So it's behind the muscle. No doctor can remove that fat. I had to get rid of that and work out and all this stuff on my own. But I just want to say that this really helped. And if you guys want me to do a video, a dedicated video about Ozepic, please just let me know in the comments. But this is what I've been loving actually for the past six months. I lost all of that weight. Ozempic. So if you see something underneath my eye right here, it's because I have really bad allergies and my eyes tear up and then my makeup always kind of like gets mixed, messed up. So that, if you're noticing something here, I just, I, I don't know what to do. So I had to continue on with my video. So <laughs> now the next thing I wanted to talk about, so, um, I go on work trips, right? So I'm an accountant and sometimes I travel for work. And so there was one trip that I forgot my deodorant. Remember all of my perfumes, but forgot my deodorant. <laughs> and so the first day, which is my travel day, I, I was, you know, looking for a Walgreens, CVS, couldn't find anything close by. So I saw an Ulta close by and um, all the stuff in there, like the deodorants, I was not familiar with them, right? So I just had to pick one, any, mini, miny, mo. I just picked up this one, okay? And so this is Mega Babe, right? So this is Mega Babe. And so I used it, I, I didn't even read what it said. So one day I came back and Kiko Beauty, hey Kiko. So she did a video and it was like a whole video on Mega Babe. And she didn't have the same packaging that I had. And so that is when I learned that Mega Babe actually has these deodorants right here. This is called the Smoothie Deo. So this is actually, this is my favorite deodorant actually at the moment. It smells so good. I picked this up from Target. And so I'm almost, I like, like, I'm almost done with this. So this is like my favorite deodorant right now. So Thank you, Kiko Beauty, for letting me know that, well, I don't even think that she knew, but what I picked up is called Thigh Rescue. And so you're supposed to, you know, on sweaty hot days, you're supposed to put this, it's like a deodorant for your thighs. So if you're, you know, your thighs rub together or whatnot, any area that causes friction, you can use this. So I was using this. I was wondering why it was so sloppy. Too. It didn't go on like regular deodorant, but from her video, I was like, girl, let me go back to what I got. 
Girl, I was using the wrong thing as a deodorant, but I'm here to tell you that this is a great deodorant as well. So you can, I feel like you can use it for the thighs, but I, I feel like you can use this one for your underarms. But since it's so messy, I think that you should use it for what it is for, for your thighs on the hot days that we have in Texas. Um, this is gonna come through, okay? Uh, but in the meantime and in between time, like I said, I did pick up the correct deodorant and this is my favorite. So that is Mega Babe, been loving that. So the next thing that I picked up was the Fenty Beauty and this is called Melt Off, okay? And so this, comes in a tube like this. All you do is just push this down. I don't wanna open it because I don't want it to get messy, but once you push this down like this, um, you know, it comes out or whatnot. And so I would say that this is comparable to Tasha's, you know, Tasha, T-A-T-C-H-A, -T -A, Tasha's like removing um, balm or whatever it's called. But theirs, I want to say theirs is $58 and this is only $34 and this does the exact same thing. So I have, this product just came out in March, picked it up just to give it a run and I love the product. So that is Fenty Skin Melt Off. And if you were wondering what lip color I have on today, it is the Fenty MVP. Such a beautiful blue based red color um yeah it's it's just gorgeous and i feel like it looks so pretty on everyone yes it does you know kind of smudge or whatever but that's not a big deal for me because i actually like the creaminess of it because my lips be so dry and crusty i don't know if that's hereditary but me and all my sisters my dad like we really have to keep our lips moisturized. And so sometimes I really don't even actually like a uh, lipstick that is like too drying because my lips already get dry. So um, I like the consistency and um, like the velvet creaminess of this and of course the color. So that is Fenty and that is in the color MVP. Now, um, Another one that Kiko Beauty introduced us to was, I wanna say the gummy bears. So Native has, Native has body washes. And so I wanna say it was like February where they did this line called the Candy Shop and they had four different like flavors or scents of the body wash in that line. I picked up all four. <laughs> the gummy bear one was pretty good too, but the one that I fell in love with the most is this one and it's called sweet cinnamon hearts but it does not really smell like this cinnamon heart candy to me it actually smells like um like the holidays it smells like eggnog like vanilla just maybe like a little touch of cinnamon and it's just so good it's just so creamy and it lights up the entire bathroom like when I use this, I love the consistency of it. I thought that because it's sulfate free, it's paraben free, it's dye free, all these, you know, clean things or whatever, that it wouldn't lather good, but this is really good. It lathers up so good. I like the consistency of it. This is a really good body wash. I don't think that they have, they do have the native, but I'm not sure if they have this scent um, in stock right now, but if it ever comes back, I think that you guys should take a sniff of this. It's really good. Now, I'm going to get into the fragrances, okay? I got some stories with my fragrances, okay? So, I took a trip to California, and that was just in this month as well for work. And long work day, work eight hours, come back to the hotel. And as I was getting on the elevator, there was a tall handsome he was a white guy we got on the elevator at the same time and it was just like you know hey and then you know you could tell he probably like had a long day or something and then as I was getting off the elevator he said you woke me up and I'm just like hmm he says you smell so good and I was like he said your fragrance just like woke me up you know and I was like really he said whatever you're wearing like 
keep wearing that because that smells so good. It woke me up. And so that was such a cute compliment and it was so unexpected too because I just worked a whole long work day and the clients that were, that were around me, they never said, maybe they smelled me, but some people, you, you know, they might not think to compliment you all the time. So sometimes people may smell you, you may not get the compliment, but that doesn't mean that you don't smell good. You got me? And so this guy, um, his compliment made me think further, right? So this is my travel size right here, right? Um, and this is my full size. So different color juices. I got this one first. It was so good. Then I bought this one off the website before they changed the price. <laughs> okay. Um, so off the MFK website before they changed the price. So what I wanted to say is a lot of my friends are single okay and they're always like where do they meet these guys where where do you meet these good candidate guys and i'm like thinking to myself girl i was right there with you too girl you know i just kind of like looked up you know but i was just thinking to myself like that guy was well he didn't have on a ring so i just assumed that he was single and then i thought to myself i said you know a lot of these guys they really be traveling, they be busy at work, you know? And so how do they, you know, meet these women, these potential, you know, women? So I was just thinking to myself, all of the guys go down to the hotel lobby around six to nine because the kitchen closes at a certain point in time. So they go down there by the bar or they go down there to the restaurant in the hotel, okay? And so I was just thinking, like all these professionals, you know, I'm married, but I'm thinking, I wish that I could swap places right now with one of my single friends because look at all these working, um, you know, eligible guys here, you know? And so all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is Tuesday through Thursday, go to the hotel, do a little, you know, go to the hotel, get you some food to eat, okay? Go by yourself, do not bring an entourage of girls with you, okay? Because that actually makes the guys do the opposite. They are very intimidated when they see two and three and a whole bunch of women. They don't wanna walk up to that crowd, okay? So go by yourself, sit by the bar, or sit, you know, wherever by yourself. Don't appear thirsty, but appear friendly, you know? wear some good perfume because the perfume is the conversation starter okay and listen i'm saying i didn't say go to motel six i'm saying go to a nice marriott go to a nice hilton don't do it every day just once in a while you have to put yourself out there in these places that these guys are you get what i'm saying and so that is just a little short little tip you know about my trip to California. Gentle fluidity gold always lights up the elevator. I totally forgot that I even had on fragrance that day. I totally forgot, but he surely reminded me. So that's gentle fluidity gold. Now, my new baby is from Dre's Van Noten, and I think that this is pronounced Soy Malachi or Soy, soy Malachi. And so this is a black currant fragrance. It's super fruity. It's almost giving me like a black currant blueberry note. And it's, it is really silky. And I think that from the research that I've done that this is like a clothing line that came out with uh, fragrances. And so they specialize in silk garments. So this is like really silky and I love the cacao note that's at the bottom, that's in the base as well. And you know what? It's really powdery to me. This is actually my scent of the day for today, but this, who got me my attention on this is Haley Clo. And so I love like all the fresh scents that she picks out. So like I'm with her on those. So when she described this, I just knew that I was going to like it. But Saks Fifth Avenue has a discovery set. So I got the discovery set and this is the one that I love the most. 
Um, I don't need any more blind by fails for the uh, for the year. Um, and I haven't had any blind by fails this year. Last year, yes. This year, no. And so this, I sampled it first and I fell in love off first sniff. And so that is Soy Malachi or Malachi. Now the next one, the talk of the town, <laughs> is K. Ali's Yum Pistachio Gelato 33. And so look at this dent, first of all. This is my last Kali to enter my collection, but the first one ever with a dent that big, baby, because I love this fragrance so much. Yes, when it opens up, it's citrusy, but I do like citrus and I do like fresh scents. And then, oh my goodness, the dry down. And the dry down, I more so get like, like a cotton candy, I don't know what it is, cotton candy, whipped cream. I'm getting like a combination of, of that. And I smell something that smells a little touch of nuttiness. And I put like, when I smelled it, like it could be an almond, but maybe it's hazelnut. Okay, because of course, I mean, I've watched so many reviews on this. It's like, you know, all the notes by now, you know, so um, this is so good. And when Sephora has their sale, I'm going to get another bottle of this because this is going to be gone by the end of the spring. And I need this for the summer, too. This is so good to me. This is like my number one Kali fragrance. Yeah, this is number one for me. All of the other ones, I had to come back to them a second or t third time. I didn't love them like heavily on off the first sniff, but this one I actually did love off the first sniff. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but look at that dent. I'm almost 50% down. And so that is Young Pistachio Gelato 33. And so lastly is La Perla's About That Night. So this right here is straight up. This is a date night fragrance right here. Yes, 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 yes. I can't even remember all the notes, but I'm going to tell you what this smells similar to. So this smells very similar. If you like YSL Libre Le Parfum, the new one, you would like this. You would really like this. But I feel like this one is like more refined and more elevated. And so it's called About That Night. And from what the vendor told me, the blue bottle indicates the night and the yellow top indicates the sunset. OK, so by the end of the night, the sheets are going to be smelling like mm -hmm, about that night. And so when you wake up in the morning, it's supposed to embolize like the sunset. But the sheets smell, still smell like your fragrance. This is like, this is my favorite one from the La Perla line right now. And so this is what I've been loving for the month of March. So we have made it to the end of the video of all of my things that I've loved in the month of March. So let me know if there's anything here that I talked about today that you're enjoying as well. Let me know if you want me to do another video on Ozempic, talking about my journey with that. Yeah, so this is just a snapshot of the things that I've been loving for the month of March. And thank you so much for tuning in, guys. And please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe as it will help my visibility on the YouTube, in these YouTube streets, okay? <laughs> okay, so thank you so much, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.